Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a very quick news for you and my reaction to just as you, you've seen in the title, Korokos head coach Prosper Ogun has resigned. We're going to we are going to look into details of that and also talk about the exclusive things that we've picked, the reason why the man decided to resign from the club. If it's your first time you can hit on the subscription button and let me know what you also think about today's topic. Let's go straight into today's news. So Prosper Ogun has resigned. It's obvious. I think earlier today, around 3 p.m., I saw multiple reports that the man has resigned. I spoke with some people that I know in Koroko, and they confirmed to me that, yes, indeed, he had resigned. He resigned via Zoom call. He had a Zoom call with the club officials because he is with the Black Stars B, that is the Black Galaxy. He is with, the, he was with that team in Cape Coast, so he did a Zoom call and he made them know that he can't continue again. I'm here to talk about, like, first of all, I'm surprised. Like, it's, it's a shocking news to me because he, he won the leg. This is a man who ended up winning the leg for Kumasa Santikoroko, winning it in the most convincing way. Also ended up beating House of Folk for the first time since 2012 in Accra. Like, he made Koroko exciting. There's, there's been a lot of projects that Koroko have built at the back of having Prosper Ogum. People can argue that his absence will not have effect on him, but trust me, it will. Some of them is the fans' engagement with the club, like how he conducts himself at press conferences. Those little, little things has huge effect on how fans, how fans behave on social media. And he has really impacted that. How Koroko fans behave on social media has something that has happened. He brought a bit of stability to Koroko. Because if you ask me, Koroko and Hasufuka are two clubs that every season, they end the season with at least one drama or not. But this time around, there was a bit of stability. You could clearly tell that this man knows what he wanted to do and he was on the right path. He did a lot of great things, like we all know what he did. But he has resigned. A man who we expect him to lead Koroko in the CAF Champions League campaign has resigned in a period where they are preparing for preseason. So this is why I think it's a bad news. Obviously, losing a coach is a bad news, but this is why I think it's really not in a, in a good one for him. First of all, we are, we are going to against. Like, clubs are reporting for preseason. At this period, you need your head coach around. This is the moment where you need your head coach. And mind you, Kodoko is not just any club where any coach can walk in and perform and play instead of thoughts and fans will be happy. No. If you're a Kodoko fan, if you're a Kodoko fan, you expect your head coach to come all the way to come and compete for the title. And if you're a coach and you're going to take Kotoko, unless you already know the club and you know the players available, you can't just walk in without proper precision, without proper signing and go and compete. You, you, you definitely have a problem. And that is the first factor. The second factor is that Kotoko at this moment, no matter what, needs to start looking for a second coach. Who are you going to look for? They are not high calf lines since A coaches in Ghana recently available. That's one factor. I also think that we don't have a lot of experienced coaches that have proven have proven track record of winning the league in the system and available at this moment. So for Koroko, unless they, they want to go outside the country, they are definitely going to struggle to find a, a quick replacement for him as the league is coming. Also, having this in mind that they also have to prepare for the CAF Champions League. One issue is that when you go into the CAF Champions League, fans expect you to compete. You can't go and lose a business. Like, you can't go and have a bad run. Fans are not, will not be happy with you. And that is something that makes it a very bad news for Kumasa Santoroko. Another reason, another factor that I think Koroko will have a problem to deal with is funds and resources. When the coach resigns, I don't know his contract. If he's terminating it based on mutual understanding, then they definitely need to be work on that. He might also be leaving because of breach of contracts. If he's leaving because of breach of contracts, then the next step he will take is to take them on. And that would mean that they are going to lose a lot of money if the man is leaving. Anyway, you look at it, it is really not a good news. But what will make Prosper Ogum also resign? I don't know the reason why he's resigning. Like, I've heard a lot of rumors. I really don't want to go into it because they are not confirmed. I've spoken with people of the record and I can't tell you that. But 
I'm going to give you reasons, like proper football reasons. First of all, he had a good season. For that one, nobody can see it. He had a good season. He ended up winning the league. That's good. However, after winning the league, it is in the news that he is going to lose his top scorer, which is Frankie Tugambella. He has lost Mudasiu. I did a report on this social media saying that Koroko have lost players. They've lost three midfielders. In one, Fabio Gama decided not to renew his contract. Lampi, who was very integral in his team, has been banned by the Ghana Football Association. And then Mudasiru ends up signing for Sharif. That means that he has lost three important players in his midfield. No matter how you look at it, it's a problem. At this point, I understand that Danla Ibrahim is also on the verge of leaving the club. It looks as if Koroko might lose more players. And in this period, they are yet to even make a single signing. Calf Champions League is on the way, and that is a problem. A head coach who is not getting a lot of signing, it looks as if that the, the, the team is set up for him to fail than to succeed. Because if you look at a coach losing all these kind of players, and for him, he's a manager who has won the Mia League with a lot of good records, the best for him is to resign when the applause are high. And I think that is why he did that. The, the footballing reasons are not good for him. He might go to Africa and go and disgrace himself. So for him, maybe that is why he's resigning. I don't really know the reason why he's resigning, but it's just a quick reaction from me. We're going to follow it keenly, and I'm definitely going to update you. But what do you think? How are you taking the news? I'm shocked, personally. I am shocked and surprised. But I don't think Kodoko management themselves are surprised because the way he resigns is obvious that, he, that he's going to leave. But if you like what we did here, you can hit on the subscription button. And let's build this community together. Bye-bye for now. Thank you.